Have people in recovery ever told you about how bad methadone is and how you shouldn't be on it? The truth is, some of these people might be misinformed. While their journey to drug-free, while their journey to a drug-free lifestyle hasn't included methadone maintenance, it isn't that way for all people struggling with addiction. Sometimes the temptation is too great. Others don't feel that abstinence-based or 12-step based programs work for them. Regardless of your reasoning, if you and your doctor conclude that methadone treatment is the best option, you should at least do some research. But upon doing some research, you may find that this is one of the safest ways to become drug-free. So let's go over seven myths and misconceptions about methadone treatment. Myth one, swapping addictions. It is true that your body becomes physically dependent on a stable dose of methadone. However, it does not fall under the same category as a true addiction. Methadone treatment is closely observed and medically guided. You are also educated on everything you need to know by your methadone treatment provider. Myth two, methadone will make you high. When taking the proper dose, which is established under close medical supervision, methadone should not make you high, nor does it produce any of the euphoric effects felt by other opiates. There may be some drowsiness associated with methadone treatment. However, when taken properly and as prescribed, the side effects are minimal. To get high on this medicine, you'd need a very high dose and you'd have to take it more frequently than prescribed. Myth three, Suboxone is better than methadone treatment. Both medications have the potential for misuse and the risk of withdrawal at the end of treatment, but each one can help you in your fight to recovery. If you are in chronic pain, methadone will likely be the course of treatment you need to take. It is the only drug approved to treat this symptom. To obtain methadone, you must go to a certified opioid treatment program. You will be observed while you take your medicine and eventually you will be allowed to take doses home. With Suboxone, your doctor can just give you a prescription. You will probably be monitored closely, but you can take some of your doses at home. Though this freedom is great, there is also a wider window for misuse. In the end, it's up to you. Both medications have pros and cons, and one is not better than the other. They just work differently. Myth four, you'll be on methadone forever. While some patients end up staying on methadone for an extended period, many can taper off the medication over a year or several months. Every case is different, and yours will be decided on by you and your doctor. Ultimately, the idea is to get you clean from opiates so you can begin focusing on why you turn to them in the first place. Participation in an intensive outpatient group therapy or an individual counseling program can help you modify addictive behaviors that lead to opioid dependence. Myth five, methadone is damaging to your health. There's a lot of misinformation out there about how methadone will damage your health, rot your teeth, get into your bones, or hurt your organs. None of this is true. There isn't any science behind these claims. The fact is, while using illicit opiates, especially if you are using through IV, you are putting yourself at risk for infections like HIV and hepatitis. When you're getting high, personal hygiene usually falls by the wayside. Teeth aren't brushed and showers aren't taken. These two parts of taking care of yourself will do far more damage to your health than following your doctor's orders when prescribed methadone. Myth six, methadone and pregnancy. A mother never wants to hurt her baby. Yet, while pregnant, many will still use. This is difficult because the withdrawal symptoms from quitting cold turkey can be dangerous for the mom to be. But continuing to use heroin or other illicit drugs is just as bad, if not worse. Heroin used during pregnancy can cause the uterus to contract bringing on premature delivery or miscarriage. Also, the use of unclean needles is a route to infection for both mom and baby. Methadone is a great, safe alternative to using opioids while pregnant. This treatment program will help mom come off opiates safely while keeping baby healthy and happy. Myth seven, methadone and cross addiction. Cross addiction is when you trade one addiction for another. The thing about addiction is that regardless of the high from one substance to another, it all acts the same on the brain. A feel-good substance can be anything from heroin and opiates to marijuana, alcohol, sex, gambling, or even food. It is very common to replace one addiction with another because you feel like you can control it. The problem is that when you begin to cross your addictions, you eventually relapse and fall back on your drug of choice. Keep in mind that when you relapse, you often pick up right where you left off. With all this said, a methadone program will not lead you to find a cross addiction, not physically anyway. Of course, 
when dealing with addiction, self-restraint is needed. There's a need for counseling. There's a need for counseling or intensive outpatient therapy. You can't just come off heroin or other opiates and expect that methadone will fix all of your problems. If you do, you could fail. Taking methadone can be an important part of a substance abuse treatment plan, but it can't be the only part. No matter what type of treatment that you decide to use, we encourage you to do your research. Thank you for watching.